Hey, this is Chad with Be Gone For Good. I make videos about adventure motorcycling, the gear, the bikes, the travel. And if it sounds like things that you might be interested in, definitely feel free to subscribe to us, uh, comment if you have anything you wanna know or, or hear, and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, my one year anniversary with the Africa Twin. Uh, I got this bike just about the middle of April last year, put about 8,000 miles on it so far and have really, really enjoyed myself and wanted to run through just a couple of reasons why uh, I love my Africa Twin. First off, uh, the cosmetics, the way this bike looks. Um, I came from a CB500X that was matte black. I got the Africa Twin 2017 in the red, white, and blue and it just it just looks mean. Um, you can park this bike anywhere and it's gonna draw eyes. It's a big bike. Uh, it's got a thousand cc engine on it. So it just, it has some weight to it. Um, it's a really, really good looking bike all the way around from the gold accents on the rims to the, to the handlebars, to the big tank with the Africa Twin logo, which just looks extremely sharp. Uh, everything about this bike looks fantastic. Put a new set of tires on there and make them a little bit, uh, a little bit rugged and the bike just it looks like it's ready to to run around the world and and at first glance it was something i immediately fell in love with now the second thing that i wanted to talk about a little bit that i was really impressed with is the power uh, now anybody who's seen my videos knows that the reason i jumped up to the africa twin from the cb500x is because i i found the cb500x to be wanting a little bit in the power category um, i don't travel exceptionally fast i'm not like a, a speed demon or or reckless on the bike in any way. I've got two young sons, so I wanna get home every day. But uh, the power band on this is really, really, uh, is, is really great. It, it allows you to, to jump up and pass people if you need to, or to get into or out of a situation very, very quickly. Um, I, I heard uh, one of my subscribers actually talk about how having extra power on that throttle, um, as long as you can control it, is always a benefit to you. It's always a safety measure that you can always power up out of something or get out of the way of something else or whatever you need to do. If that power is there, uh, it's a good thing to have available to you. Um, and that was something I didn't find in the CB500X and have really, really loved about the Africa Twin. Driving through traffic on the Africa Twin is a breeze now because I don't have to worry about uh, passing at, at 80 or even 90 miles an hour and being able to do it like that. Uh, I've been really, really happy with that. Uh, the third thing I want to talk about is the handling. I was told when I was buying this bike that the 21 inch front wheel was really going to be a big change from the 19 inch that I had on the Rally Raid CB500X. I didn't notice it all that much. It may have taken me a half hour to kind of get used to the, the bigger wheel and the bigger feel, uh, but the bike is really, really nimble. Um, I haven't noticed anything. I've heard other people talk about because the weight is so low it still moves like a much lighter bike than it is. Uh, I haven't driven uh, a KTM, I haven't driven a, a BMW, I haven't driven really any other bike except for the CB500X and the Africa Twin. And between those two bikes, I don't find a whole lot of difference in the way that they handle. The Africa Twin is really, really nice. In fact, just a week ago, I, uh, I scraped my first peg on a turn. It was a really low speed turn. They're pretty big pegs, but just to tell you how much that bike uh, can can lean, um, even on aggressive tires, I was I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, the fourth thing, the DCT. I know that this is one of those arguments that'll go down in history as to who wants the DCT, who doesn't. Uh, the purists out there say you have to have a manual. Um, I got the DCT because of what was available to me, and, and I'd heard really good things and wanted to wanted to try it out, and have been really really happy with it. Um, I'm sure if I had been riding a lot longer, the manual would have been a must have, but I'd only been riding a year by the time I got the Africa Twin and the DCT just, just fits well. It's, it's great to turn and go. Uh, it provides me a lot of capability and, and the bike does all the thinking for me so I can just really enjoy the ride. Uh, apparently the DCT really, really shines off road. And, and if you hold on to the end of this video, I'll give you a little bit of information about when I'll be able to really test that out uh, much better. But so far, the DCT has been a dream. If it's something that you're interested in or even curious about, find somebody that's got an Africa Twin DCT and try it out. Go down to the dealership. They probably have one that they can't get rid of because nobody wants an automatic bike um, and try it out. It's, 
it's great. It's fantastic. And if you no longer have to shift again uh, or think about it, all the better, right? Um, okay, now I'm going to move into a little bit of uh, the future plans that I've got with this bike. Uh, again, as anybody who's been watching this channel knows, in about two weeks, um, I leave for a cross-country trip going from North Carolina to Denver, Colorado, where I'll be participating in a, a volleyball tournament out there. Um, a couple of guys are going to meet me out in Denver, where we'll ride from there down to Mexican Hat, Utah, and run the Utah BDR. Now, for those that are familiar with the BDR, you know this is a no-joke off-road route, um, and Utah apparently is a pretty pretty significant one. I'm a new rider. I'd, I'd say a novice in the off-road category, very, very little off-road experience, but I'm taking this bike out there with the DCT and I'm really gonna test myself, uh, test the bike uh, over the course of that week. So um, if you're interested in hearing about more of that, I'm gonna film as much of it as I can, I'm gonna stream as much of it as I can, and make sure to get you guys updates as best I can. So uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you wanna find out more about how I uh, conquer the Utah BDR or how the Utah BDR might conquer me on the Africa Twin DCT. Um, and I will make sure to get that information out to you. But that is going to be, I think, the first real test of this bike and how she fares. Um, I got a, a bunch of new gear to go on that trip with me. Uh, the Moscow Moto Reckless 80, which I've got a, a video coming fairly shortly on that too. Um, that's going to be what I'm packing on there. I'm going to take a bunch of camera equipment, fairly limited uh, gear otherwise, and hopefully run this off-road course. So um, wish me luck. If you have any questions, any comments, anything you want to know about the Africa Twin or even the CB500X, my old bike, definitely feel free to leave a message below. Um, I've been really, really good about uh, answering and, and getting back to anybody who's left a comment. So definitely feel free to, to ask me anything. Um, and if you are interested in the Africa Twin at all, definitely take a look at it. It is a, it is a bike that has revolutionized the way that I ride in the sense that uh, I don't have a car anymore. I don't drive a car anymore. If it is above 35 degrees, oh, that's really it. If it's above 35 degrees, I'm going to be on the Africa Twin. It's a it's a pleasure to ride long term, short term, anywhere I can go on this bike. I'm going to be going on the bike because it's just it's the perfect ride, um, and it's a ton of fun. More fun than I ever thought I could have on a bike. I loved my CB500X, but the Africa Twin has taken it to the next level and. I'm completely 100% hooked. So <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for listening. Again, if you have any questions or anything you want to know, uh, check, uh, leave me a comment. Um, and if you want to hear more about how this is going to go as I, as I ride across this country uh, and do the Utah BDR, definitely subscribe and I'll get more things out to you guys.